Sloman. Johnny Hecker, the longtime punter and holder, puts it down. Oh, and Sloman misses it. So with two seconds, the rookie misses it, and it's still seven to nothing. Second down and ten. The second quarter is just underway, and the pass here is caught. Great grab by Michael Gallup. His first catch, a flag comes in at the end. Illegal block in the back. Offense number 88. Ten-yard penalty and repeat. And the point here is that the Rams have already run 23 plays against that Dallas defense. Off the fake. Prescott throwing wide open, making the catch is C.D. Lamb. So he's on the statue. C.D. Lamb, rookie out of Oklahoma. The Cowboys could not believe he lasted as long as he did in the first round. Thrilled to get him. One thing that the Cowboys loved to do last year was this deep crossing route. Sometimes they get little pick plays off of it. That time it was a zone defense. But getting Lamb going is going to be paramount this year. Look at that. Handed grab by Amari Cooper. Meanwhile, Prescott was helping to block on the play. Took Aaron Donald out of the previous play. Two minutes into the second quarter. So Kellen Moore was the offensive coordinator under Jason Garrett. And Prescott was happy about that. Second down and nine. Swing it to the outside. Elliott stays in bounds. And Zeke's going to take it all the way in for a touchdown. So Zeke Elliott, a guy they want to engage more in the passing game, mentioned that before. 19 yards for the touchdown. Eight plays, 80 yards in two and a half minutes. There just simply was nobody in the flat. And the one thing that when you watch the Cowboys tape last year, a lot of times when they flanked out Elliott, he would take three or four steps off the ball and just wins by a quarterback over that period of time as the pass is caught at the 32 yard line by Amari Cooper. Very good man to man player. Second and one. They do a good job keeping Donald out of the picture. And the pass is caught here by the tight end Blake Jarwin. But I do think some of those cover two defenses he'll get down the middle. Prescott fires. That is caught. And that's going to be first down with forward progress. Cowboys. Go no huddle here. Prescott again over the middle. It's a gain of 13 hitting Michael Gallup down the seam. Boy, this breakneck pace has worked for both teams, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Calling in the coverages. Meanwhile, with Jarwin hurt, Schultz is now the tight end, and they give it to Elliott. And he'll pick up a first down before he takes over. Prescott backing up, throws, hits Elliott again, and Elliott with a flag down for the moment gets into the end zone. So if that holds up, that would be his second receiving touchdown. But pass interference, offense number 86. 10 yard penalty, repeat, first down. Well, wouldn't that figure that Stalton Schultz has been in for about four plays since Jarwin got hurt? But it really wasn't even the man that was in coverage. He went down and sort of made contact on the goal line. There was an attempted pick, but it actually was by Zach Martin. So here he comes down the field. Maybe he thought that's who it was going to get picked. So it's got to be a little better actor than that. First and 20, that pass is caught. C.D. Lamb to the 14-yard line. Clock ticking down. Dallas has two timeouts tonight with no fans on second down and 11. And Prescott's going to take off. And Prescott will take the ball at least for a first down and into the end zone for a touchdown. So they'll review it, see if he did indeed get in, and if he does, an extra point will give him the lead. I tell you what, he was going for the goal line, though, wasn't he? Previous play, Let's take a goal look. under review. Well, that would be his for sure. 22nd career rushing touchdown, but uh, you see it. Actually, inside the one yard line, they took the runoff, and Elliott. Cannot get in. Mm. Second and goal. Wow, 
going ahead and getting into the end zone for the touchdown. Out for the night. He's been the signal caller as well. Third down and seven. A little bit of pressure this uh -oh. time. And then it's picked off. Intercepted here by Awuzie. And still running around. Stayed in bounds and finally gets taken down at the 42 yard line. So the first interception of the season, and that was caused in good measure by Alden Smith coming in to put the heat on. Dallas ball. They're down by six, late third. Converting 60% on third down. Can they do it again? They need 12. And there they come. You're right, Chris. Exactly right. Swallowed him up, and that's Alden Smith in his first game in five years and making his presence very much felt tonight. He really just has not had a chance to have a huge impact rushing the passer. This guy might end up with 15 sacks this year. I tell you, Al, he has been really impressive to me. Monday, Monday. Third and ten. <laughs> Prescott going deep. Going to be caught. Michael Gallup beats Ramsey, but he flag is down at the 30 yard line. Ramsey contending that he was interfered with. There's another flag at the 37 yard line. It's interference, offense number 13, 10 yard penalty, repeat, third down. So Gallup could not get away with it, would have set him up at about the 15 yard line. It's always so hard to call that one. Terry, what do you think about that one? You know, you want to see a clear extend and uh -oh. separation, Chris. And, and I think he's got his arm out there, but I just don't see him forcibly I agree. push him off. There you go. <laughs> Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott, first and goal, Dallas. Second and goal. They try it again, Elliott. This time he's in. Touchdown. Another fake. Prescott is all day. Fires. It's caught by Gallup. Michael Gallup has his first catch of the day. Third and six movement. Atlanta man jump. Prescott realizes it and throws complete at CeeDee Lamb. Big game to the rookie from Oklahoma. Down to the 23. Good awareness from Prescott to take advantage of the mistake, and he's got a 37-yard hookup. Yeah, just when we talk about the secondary for Atlanta playing a little bit tighter, there's some zone coverage right there. Good play Offside. design. Defense, number 91. That penalty has declined. The result of the play is a first down. And Dak Prescott, he knew that was a free play for him, so liked his decision to stretch the field, but not a big choice there. Oh. C.D. Lamb was wide oh. open. Lamb gets 37. Huh? Cowboys down to the 23. Play fake. Prescott wide open to Schultz. A tight end. First down and more inside the 10. They had two guys there. I mean, Keanu Neal right there going inside. You've got both of your people way down inside. There's nobody on the edge to cover Dalton Schultz. So break down right there. Right down the field is Dallas. And a quick tempo too as Elliott has a carry. And down to the one he goes, carrying a couple Falcons with him. Putting the fake punt, which would have worked, but they didn't execute it well. And they have scored the last two possessions, looking to make it three in a row. And Prescott on the keeper walks in. Touchdown, Dallas. Dante Fowler collapses down inside. Nobody on the edge. They put the rookie digs on him in the slot. And Gage at quarterback in the Wildcat. He's going to throw it deep. Looking for Julio Jones. Oh, and he dropped it. It was a perfect throw by Russell Gage. And Julio Jones, who hardly ever makes a mistake, dropped the touchdown.
I mean, you may never see that again. That's why it was a very interesting call. So a big sequence in that game. Put an earmark on it. Prescott trying to take advantage. Going deep. Cooper! Oh! One-hander! Are you kidding me? What a catch on the bomb from Dak to Cooper! I thought he missed him. I thought he overthrew him right there. I'm like, he's not going to get to it. That is outstanding. Look at the concentration with the eyes. Just a sneak for Prescott, and he's in. Touchdown. Second rushing touchdown of this third quarter. Early, and gets swallowed up by Thomas. Good play by Joe Thomas to shoot the gap and make the tackle. Well, right now, Cowboys four of nine on third down today. Four-man rush. Prescott in some trouble, steps away, floats one down the sidelines, and has a completion. Yes, he does. Is when they've been in a system for five years, seven years. Third and seven here. Atlanta sends a blitz. Prescott sees it. Lamb holds on. Nice catch, CD Lamb. Safety position. Prescott going end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown. Dalton Schultz. His first career touchdown. And the Cowboys aren't out of it yet. And remember, Foye Luakon is out of the game, so Michael Walker is the guy in position right there. And, and what great confidence by Dak Prescott. It's not bad coverage by Michael Walker, but he gets it right over that outside shoulder. Doesn't get his head around to be able to make a play on the ball. So it is a first down for Atlanta, and they will run it, although not very far, as Todd Gurley is swallowed up. Comfortable for Alden to do that? So he'll get better at it, but it, it's not a simple change. By the way, Ryan on the fake. Looking for it all, not there, and there is the first sack of the day. Trying to go downfield, didn't have it. Everson Griffin has a sack. So first down, time again the issue, 2.13 to go. Prescott gonna throw it deep, we get a penalty flag flying. Gallup leaping catches, he inbounds, he is not. He could not stay inbounds, it's incomplete. We got penalties as well. Let's see. One. Oh. Ooh. I don't know. Let's see if the uh, Gluteus Maximus got down as well. Which one hit first? Uh, it's very close, but I. I hmm. The rolling on the field is a completed catch. Offside number 56 defense. That penalty is declined. First down, Dallas. Oh, there you go. And you know what? Kind of thought the same thing. Touchdown. Make it three on the day for Dak Prescott. You should have sent that down earlier. You could have saved him some time. <laughs> Just drawn out the drama for our audience. <laughs> All right, so it's going to come down to the onside kick. That's the bottom line. So here we go. Dallas needs this without timeouts. Zerline will scrub. It's got to go 10 yards, and it's close. Zerline may have come through. Who's got it? The Cowboys have it. Do you believe that? Why did they let it pick it up? They let it go. They could have picked it up and ended the game, but Dallas has recovered, and they're not done yet. Oh, my goodness. And they're only down two. Let's see. You don't have to wait for it to go 10 yards. You can attack it right there. Somebody could have came in and got it. You're just watching it go. Alameda Zacchaeus could have just covered the ball up. And now you've got all the Dallas players. They're right at 10 yards. As soon as that crosses that white line, look at them all standing there. They're just waiting for it to become a live ball.
That is unbelievable. I mean, that is a humongous mistake. They just let it happen. The Cowboys have life. The onside kick. So who needs Young Waku? Zerline did his job, and now it's Prescott trying to pull off a miracle. Looking for Gallup back shoulder, and it's incomplete. They were down 20 in this game. They were down 29 to 10 at the half. And don't forget, Atlanta's only up by two because they went for two way early in this game. So a field goal would win it for Dallas. This is wild. 143 to go. No timeouts. Second and ten. It's a four-man rush for Prescott. Near side wide open is Lamb. No one's near him. CD Lamb down to the 30. They're in field goal range already. Yeah. Atlanta can touch it at any time. The Cowboys cannot touch it till it goes 10 yards. That's the rule. And Goodwin's the guy that recovered it. And Jerry Jones is like, man, I can't believe that worked. But now they got to finish it off. It's Philip Ladusar, the snapper. Chris Jones is the holder. Greg Zerlein from 46 to win it for Dallas. Hold is down, kick is up, and it is gone! Somehow, some way, the Cowboys have won it! This is going to be a really, really tough one to come back for this Atlanta Falcon team. Zerline hit a little fade. It went right down the middle. And after executing the onside kick, I mean, that is an unreal victory for Dallas and a devastating loss for Atlanta unbelievable by Dallas to stay with it when nobody really felt they were going to have the opportunity from time you looked at timeouts how are they going to do it you showed the graphic how long it's been since they've executed an onside kick it looked like Atlanta had complete control down the stretch and somehow Dallas found a way on second down, Wilson is sacked. Sacks have been hard to come by, and that's Alden Smith. Yeah, Alden Smith, you're going to see Russell Wilson. He's going to get the ball out quick. This is a quick three-step drop, but because the secondary hung in there pretty tight, took the throw away, he had to double clutch it just enough. But a good job by Robinson getting the pressure in the backfield. Third down and six now. Prescott throws, pass is caught. Tight end Schultz. Shook a tackle and now takes it down inside the 30. They lost Blake Jarwin to a torn ACL week one. Schultz was busy last week and he's got his first today. Good job by Kellen Moore, the offensive coordinator. He's he's anticipating man coverage and they call the man beater. They've got the shallow crossing route. Wow. Schultz who makes a heck of a catch on the ball. Yeah, he's getting his opportunities now because of the injury to Blake Jarwin, and that was a huge blow to this offense. A guy who should be a free play. Pass is caught by Lamb. Free play, big play. Prescott has a man, and it's Cooper with a catch. Setting up first and goal, a diving grab by Amari Cooper, who's slow to get up. And we'll go back and see if Amari Cooper secured the catch going to the ground. Well, let's see whether or not he had it, and uh, it looked to me like he did. Here's Elliott, who reaches for the touchdown. Well, they put Antoine Woods in here at fullback, and... Uh, 
refrigerator Perry style. Let him kind of lead the way as a lead blocker. And Second down and 11. Wilson gets protection, airs it out. Metcalf is there. And it's knocked out of the back of the end zone. Was he in? Play was made by the rookie Diggs as the officials get together. And it's a touchback. Unbelievable if it stands. He's there and Diggs just. He lets up. Yep. He and just, he was not in. No, it's just, and you don't see that from this guy. I mean, he, he's, a, he's one of these guys who just never lets up. He's full speed all game long. And he just thought he was. He had beat it went in and out of the Diggs end zone. so badly. By Great rule, job by time. Diggs continuing to play, but that's that's uh, inexcusable right there by DK Metcalf. Dylan Blitz here. Back out of it. Wilson is hit and able to hang on. There's a flag down. In the second door, Derek Cowboys now going a little bit quicker in their in their offensive rhythm. Pass is caught by Cedric Wilson, and he is in for the touchdown. His first catch, and he goes 40 for the score. But you see where the safety is, so now he's just got to get inside of that, which he does. There's nobody there then left to be able to make a play, then it's a foot race, and can he get to the pylon, and he does. Sixth round pick out of Boise State. Wilson is gonna be set for the third time in the game. That's Alden Smith, his third. Dak Prescott airs it out on the first play, and he's got Gallup. On the first play, backed up, at their own six after the punt and then the penalty and Michael Gallup is good for 52 yards. Yeah, and he just runs straight by Shaq Griffin. I mean, there's no double move, nothing. There's no play action in the throw. Elliott with three drops in this game as he dropped the screen. Here's one caught. And now toward the end zone, a flag is down. It's Wilson again. It, it looked to me, Joe, like they held Gallup so I think the flag will go against Seattle. Here's Trey Flowers and, and Gallup, and, and look like he grabbed. Yeah, there's the grab, and I think that's where the flag came in. That's what I saw when it happened. Prior to the pass, illegal contact, defense, a penalty's declined. Results of the play, touchdown. How about Cedric Wilson had no catches coming in, five in his career, no touchdowns. He's got scores from 40 and 42 and the Cowboys are back in it. Yeah. Third down, Wilson is gonna try and escape and he cannot. Antoine Woods was in there, Alden Smith helped out at the end and a loss of 10 on another Cowboys sack. And they Wilson down at the 10. Prescott, good protection. Wide open C.D. Lamb, and he had to reach behind a bit. With that makeshift offensive line at second and eight. The line holds up. Gallup has got it for the touchdown. Touchdown, Dallas. And again, it's Flowers as Gallup scores from 43. The down two and the offense stays on the field. It's one on one this time in press coverage. Last time he just ran by Shaq Griffin and a ball that is is a little underthrown and yet Gallup able to to haul it in. Trey Flowers just never even locates the ball. Gallup doesn't acknowledge when the ball is close to arriving. They've done it and they, they've had some good possessions here as of late. Here is a pass that ends up in the arms of Gallup. Pinballing around and Gallup is out to the 31 yard line. Flowers got hit with a ball and then <laughs> Gallup ends up with a completion. <laughs> Trey Flowers got hit in the chest with yeah. it. So the Cowboys start up deep in their own territory. 
From the 12, it is Prescott off the fake, has a man at Schultz at tight end. Dalton Schultz in the first down, and room to run. Out to the 35. To start off this season. Second and seven, couple of fakes. Garrett pressure again, set up a screen. Elliott got a block. Ezekiel Elliott into Cleveland territory. Big news because Rashard Higgins is inactive today, so they are short wide receivers. Prescott, pressure coming, gets a block, though, stands in. Wide open, C.D. Lamb! Touchdown, Dallas! As one of the things that the Brown secondary has talked about with Sendejo, Andrew Sendejo on the back end. C.D. Lamb coming out of the slot. He's just going vertical. He's open right away. You can see he's drifting to the outside. He thinks he has help from the opposite safety coming across, but that was his man down the seam. Ezekiel Elliott with the pickup. Like to see him. And the league's leading passer hitting the rookie, C.D. Lamb. Oh, setting this stage. Good first quarter, 7-7 early on. Wow, Chris, a thanks. Prescott tipped and caught. Do you believe that? C.D. Lamb, right place, right time. It was tipped by Taki Taki, but Lamb still made the catch, and he's got a 19-yard game. And they, they found something here with these quick inside routes just off the fingertips. Good concentration by C.D. Lamb to finish that play. And look at the tempo, Dallas. He'll throw it again. Prescott is caught! How in the world did it get in there for the touchdown? Talk about threading the needle. It's Amari Cooper. Touchdown, Dallas. My goodness. Not just threading the needle, but the concentration by Amari Cooper. Watch. Andrew Sendejo right there, flash, right as the ball arrives. Great job by Amari Cooper. <laughs> I cannot believe he got that in there. I mean, there was such a tight window. I don't even know if we can call that a window. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Tony Pollard in the game, fake to him. Prescott has time this time. Let's it rip far side of the field, and Gallup holds on to it. Oh, tight coverage from Terrence Mitchell, but Gallup Won the war of the hands and a first down for Dallas. Exactly. This is a really nice play by Michael Gallup on the outside. Little late with the throw by Dak Prescott. It gives Terrence Mitchell the opportunity to get in there, almost get that knocked away. Strong hands at the point of the catch. Here's Hunt and wrapped up to Marcus Lawrence. Good penetration there. Hunt's going to be dropped for a loss. Special team's going to do for field position here. First time, Browns have been three and out all day long. Gillen's punt. Lamb's got it at the 10. Makes a couple moves. C.D. Lamb has edge. some blocking. Can he get there? A good return by Lamb. Prescott. Mm, over the middle. It's Brown. Good catch. Noah Brown just outside the 10 now. Now it's third and goal. And Pollard. I think he's in, he is. There's a signal. Touchdown. That's a good run right there because the, the end is squeezing down. You can see Joe Jackson, number 91. He was not happy with his play. If he could have squeezed it a little bit harder, probably could have stopped Tony Pollard from getting into the end zone. And so it's a 21 point game, 12 24 to go. And the Cowboys are going to go for two. Now, this is a must. Well, that would make it a two touchdown in the field goal game if they get it. Prescott looking for it, throwing for it, got it, Elliott. So there you go. So a three possession game, but they're not done yet. Style as well. Look at Lawrence, that's a great play from Demarcus Lawrence, and the Cowboys needed it on a third and two, and they got the stop. Field goal to tie it with 8.21 to go and three timeouts, so they've got to hurry. Prescott going to get it outside, and that's not a great start to Pollard. Had to go down and get it, but makes a good move, and Pollard wow, really turned that into a heck of a play. And he's
He's out of bounds. And the Dallas, the last drive in this drive, now methodically down the field and moving a little bit quicker than I think the Browns would like. Prescott going for it. Oh, and he's got connection for the touchdown to Schultz. Uh oh. 6.31 left. Schultz for the score. And now undoubtedly they'll go for two. Great job by Dalton Schultz right down the seam. And here's the big part of this. He knows he's going to take a hit from Carl Joseph, a physical safety. Trust your quarterback. Get the delivery. Try to get down and protect yourself. Cowboys need this to make an 11-point deficit with 6.31 to go. Prescott going to run it in and get it. This one's not over yet. Should have gotten out on that play. Blitz coming again. Prescott quickly underneath. Cooper makes the catch. Retraces his steps. Has a block. Amari Cooper has a first down. And he's out of bounds. Inside the 20. Down to the 16 with 4.20 to go. Game getting a breather on second down. And Prescott on design, Ron has room inside the 10, and he is close to a first down. He's got the first down. First and goal, down. 11th play of the drive, 347 to play. Blitz coming, throwing a fade, going for the corner. Lamb has got it! Touchdown, Dallas! Great touch by Dak Prescott on that throw. Gets it out high enough for C.D. Lamb to run it down. Had all kinds of space to the outside. Welcome those of you who saw the Vikings beat the Texans. This has been unbelievable. The Cowboys were down 27 in this fourth quarter. The two-point conversion here. If they get it, they're down a field goal. Prescott, a little flip. Cooper's going to walk in. It's a three-point game. Back to Elliott again, and this time he's across for the touchdown. Mulaney! What's that? Pressure, ball comes out, and is scooped up. Brown has it, and returns it for the touchdown. What a monster play. Cowboy fans feeling like it's not going great. Giants doing well. Still a close game. Fumble to the house. Play earlier, Dak Prescott throws it too high. Now Daniel Jones. You see Daniel doesn't feel the pressure. Demarcus Lawrence, who gets his first sack of the year, Jim. And that is a corner blitz by Anthony Brown. Look at Lawrence, who's been not 100% slowed by a knee. And then you talk about coming back from injury. Brown was just activated to the roster. The week five that will continue all the way to Tuesday. With the Bills and Titans. Second and ten. Wide open. What a cut, too. Lamb with a stiff arm. Decided to go field goal. Third and four. Oh, what a catch. And yes, they're going to attack on yardage. Half the distance to the goal. Lamb somehow holds on the Colbert hit. Underneath, you got to jump, twist your body behind you, almost like you're on the sideline, like a back shoulder, and then get hit. And that ball doesn't even come close to coming out. I don't know how. Wow. It was actually a really high-level thrown ball as well. These two have just picked it up, like, right away. They have great chemistry. 22. Nice drive. No, I just tested it. Oh, look at the Cowboys. A little trickery. Wilson's going back to Prescott. And it works. What a play for the touchdown. Jim, it's the Philly special. Yes, it really is. 
It's a form of the Philly special. You saw the Eagles run in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. And the division brings it back out again. Hand the ball off. Throw the reverse. The only difference was Nick Foles didn't take the snap. Now, here's why this play works. If he's under center, I'm pretty sure he can't catch a pass. But if you're in shotgun and he hand it off, you're who caught 11 balls in the week one opener here last year, including a couple of touchdowns. Look out. What a play again, Jalen Smith. Ben throws to Lamb. Here's Pollard. Nice run by Pollard. And Elliott's back up. Picks up another first down. This is dangerous for teams going forward. If they're going to run the football and they have these weapons outside, you're going to rush the passer. And you're a little bit too far inside. And he gets outside and Pollard does the rest. Yeah, he got around Golden and rushes for 13. Not going to keep it. Prescott breaks the tackle. He picks up a total of nine more. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh. You almost got to hope it's a cramp, don't you, if you're a Cowboy fan right there? But, oh, that, that does not look good, Jim. Oh, no. And look at Gallup reacting and Dalton getting ready to go in. Mm. Oh, you know, one of those you don't want to see twice. And look at uh, Jason Garrett come out check in on his former quarterback you hate for any team in the national football league to lose their quarterback and well jim you can see how long it's taking too you know just to put him on the cards and He's a great kid, and I know a lot of people love him in the organization. I've been around him. He's a great leader for that football team. Look at the love for him. I think it's, you can tell by his face, he knows that it's not something small. Kid right there has never missed a start, Jim, his entire career. One of the good ones in the league. One of the good guys. And it's the old theory is you just don't want the season to be 100% over when you lose one guy. Dalton's pass is caught for the first down by Lamb. Well, this is an incredible throw. There's a guy outside and inside, but Lamb makes a great catch. But what you don't see is there's a defender coming right from the outside there. So you kind of throw it back shoulder, a lot like what Dak did down the seam, where he threw that back shoulder. It almost protects your player. Dalton with over 2,750 career completions, but that's the first one, not as a Bengal. And look at this run for the touchdown by See him just fight right through all the arm tackles. That's not going to stop him. And Stepping up, no chance. Cowboys register a sack. First down, Jones got away. 
but nowhere to hide. Them to the postseason five consecutive years to start his career. Here he goes on second and ten. He's got Cooper who breaks the tackle. He would have been about four yards short of a first. It would have been third down. If they're just 27 right now with 40 seconds to go. Coming after him and able to roll out instead and throw on the run with the feet down right in front of the giant bench. They're conferring and they give him the catch. Wow, Gallup. Did he catch his in? Oh, that looked like yes and no, Jim. I think they see the little bit of stuff come in, but of course they're going to look at this with the game on the line. Yep. Left is in. It's that right, it's right, right there. puts the question. I think it's in. And now I'm not so certain. Let's bring in Gene Steratore. What do you see? I would think that we'll stay with the ruling of catch on the play, Jim. I think the right foot is still down enough as possession begins. Ruling on the field stands is called. It is a catch and first down. 19 yards in the books. Yeah, you don't have that much. I mean, you're talking about long you got, distance. You got 10 yards. I mean, obviously, they want to get closer to 61. But the fact right here, as a defense coordinator, you're almost to the point where you can't protect. It's not about the end zone. It's 15 yards. You can't give up. You got 10. Offense, you got to get this ball out quick. And you see the safeties there? They're going to pick out the guy to double they want. One of these guys is going to come down. Going deep for Gallup. That could be what turns out as the game-winning catch to set up a field goal. That right foot, was it in? <laughs> it looked in. It's why every little play, just doing the correct thing, gives you an opportunity to win. What a catch. Just, and now, Zerline for a second Cowboy victory. Sneaks it in. Wow, boy, trying to spin the lace as fast as he could. Hey, trying sure. to get it around. One and three, and an 0 and four. And that was about as an exciting a game oh. as you could have. It was. Dalton steps and fires and completes. There's Amari Cooper running away from people. And it clearly settled down nicely. Dalton to throw able to complete final minute third quarter lamb comes back for it has a big game there is a flag down in arizona territory down to the 39 yard line of the i don't think it's going to stand they might get devondre prior to the pass holding defense yeah. for 59 that penalty's declined was on the play is a first down one of the few bricks quick throw dalton lamb's got this one Picks up a nice block from Schultz. And the Cowboys trying to get something going here. It might be greater than it's ever been by the end of the year. You never know. It's fine. Or let me hit free agency and see what happens then. Got tagged once. They could tag him again, too. That's an option for the Cowboys. Caught by Amari Cooper. First down. There's a penalty marker. The Cooper push off. Pass. Holding. Defense number 33. The penalty's declined. Yardage gained is enough for a first down. Here's Dalton on third and goal. And there you go. Amari Cooper touchdown. One. Make you feel like he's going to go across the field and then just put on the brakes and whip it back outside. We've seen him catch many touchdowns in his career here as a Dallas Cowboy on that very route right there. Early in this game as Allen dips under center. The running back is Peyton Barber. They're going to sneak it. Allen surging. Cowboys say that he didn't get it. Still no signal. In fact, the Cowboys may have the football. Well, I like the decision to slide right. You can see that gap right there. He's trying to get in, but you can see everything is clogged up right there. That's just a tremendous job. In the state of the NFC East, who knows? Everybody's alive at this point. 
Hopkins to send it away. Back to return it, Tony Pollard. He'll bring it out of the end zone. And Pollard with a nice return, able to slip free and stay on his feet into Washington territory. And the kind of player the Cowboys really needed. Two for three on third down in this first quarter. This is third and four. Cowboys bringing pressure. Allen with a deep drop. He's chased out of the pocket by Griffin and pulled down from behind. The ball comes out, but he was down. Losing seconds last week didn't work. This one, they find Thomas, who can't hang on. Got jarred out of there by Donovan Wilson. So it stays at 15-3. Terry McLaurin, a big play over the top. 52 yards beating the rookie Trayvon Diggs. Off play action, Allen with his eyes downfield. Coverage was there this time, and Lawrence swallows him up. Demarcus Lawrence with a sack, and it's third down. On third and ten against a four-man rush, Dalton steps up. He tucks it and runs and slides and gets hit by Bostic. And flags come flying, no question. Dawn's helmet is off, and he's still down. Backup quarterback is Ben DiNucci, yet to make his NFL debut. And that was one of the things that Mike McCarthy talked about, getting ready for the Arizona game, was my most important thing is getting Ben DiNucci ready for the number two spot. That may be paying off right here, as Andy Dalton could be done for the day. Shot at his college career at Pitt, transferred to James Madison for his final two seasons, was an All-American there. His first throw finds Amari Cooper, and Cooper's got a first down across the 40. Welcome to the NFL, Ben DiNucci with a 31-yard completion to Cooper. <laughs> nice job coming back after that first play and just recognizing the soft spot in the coverage and having the confidence to fit it in there. Nice throw by Ben DiNucci. Second down and three. The fake and then a little toss here to Wilson. And then he tosses it back to C.D. Lamb, the rookie out of Oklahoma. And Lamb takes it all the way out near midfield, and DiNucci threw a block to Springham. So a little <laughs> razzle-dazzle on DiNucci's second play. There we go. Well, now we got to figure it out. We know what they're going to do with DiNucci. They're going to use him as a lead blocker out in front. Watch this. We got the fake. We got the reverse. We got the double reverse. Then we have number seven out front with the lead block. Bango. Perfectly done. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Pace for the record you never want to set. From the 44-yard line. Thank you, Scott. Look out, and Wentz will go down. That's Demarcus Lawrence, and Michelle talked about him at the top and how angry he was, and there he is saying, okay, I'm going to start off with a sack here. Well, Demarcus Lawrence, one of the great players, and Jordan Mailata now is switched over to play the right tackle, which he has not been replacing Lane Johnson, and he just gets beat with a quick inside move. And... If they don't give Mylotta some help over there on one of the great players in the league, it is going to be a very long night. Nine yard sack, second down and 19. Running back is Huntley, the fake to him. He stays in the block. Wentz has time. Wentz looking, keeps his eyes down field, and he's going to go down again. Oh, and that's Donovan Wilson with the ball coming loose. And Dallas has it. So Wentz escapes at first, rolls to his left, keeps his eyes downfield, and then the ball comes out, and Wentz, who's fumbled more than anybody in the league since he came in in 2016, coughs it up here. This is a horrible play by Carson Wentz, and sometimes he has been doing this too much. He's making wild plays in the hopes of making something special happen because he doesn't have much around him. Peterson going for it, at least lining up to go for it. As you can see, he's done a ton of times for the years, and Wentz is going to get sacked, and the ball is going to come out. And that's Vander Esch. So they would have had it on downs anyway. After the sack, they wind up with it at the 46-yard line. So that Cowboy defense, after they were read out on the sideline by Nolan, 
responds on this series and Dallas has the ball in Eagle territory. Five and a half to go in the first half from the 20 yard line. Dallas begins this drive. Oh. And a little fake by Pollard. Turns out to be a good looking play. Pick up 15. Well, we've seen more sweeps and motion and crazy stuff than we've seen all season long. They're just going to fly out here as fast as they can. Then here comes the fake reverse the other way. Oh, and there, there goes Fletcher Cox to chase it over there. And they end up, I mean, these plays are coming from so. <laughs> it was a third and eight, so that would have been a, a punt. Instead, it's a first down. Try to get on the board toward the end of the half here. Wentz keeps his eyes downfield, throws into the end zone at the double coverage, and that will be taken by Diggs. And Diggs is contending that he caught it in bounds, and now you've got a conference here. So the result of the play is so. an interception by the defense for a touchback. First down, oh, down. That is close. If that knee is down, and the other part of it is if the shin is down before the knee, they called it an interception, so you get the benefit of the doubt. Every stadium in the NFL in the country right now, you've got a little wind shear and swirling winds. Zero lines kick is a line drive. It's good. <laughs> wow. And almost no elevation on it. So Zerline, who kicked the Rams into the Super Bowl in that New Orleans game a couple of years back. Take a look at the tracer here. This is such a brilliant play by Zerline. He knew he had no chance if he kicked <laughs> a traditional ball to get that there. He said, I'm just going to take a shot hitting a Pete Rose line drive. Let that wind blow it back to the right. That was a brilliant play. That was a loss of three. Ball back in Eagles territory. Went steep downfield, and it's going to be picked off. Diggs, his second of the game, and he comes out of the end zone with it. And Diggs trying to pick up some blocks and finally goes down at the 31. Coming into the game. His brother would be proud of that catch. round pick out of Wisconsin third and two facing Gilbert and this is exactly right all three plays three wide receivers to start the game Pass down. beautiful throw to Amari Cooper right here now you look he's right there he's gonna run the same route Claypool did and because you have good matchups they got talent at wide receiver and if you're gonna keep them on the field he was signed October the 13th after the Prescott injury off the practice squad of the Cleveland Browns. Pollard has come into the backfield on a second and ten. And he's got an opening. Look at Pollard break it down to about the 14. The three-yard field goal as they keep the offense out there. Cowboys call timeout. Vinny Snell is the running back. They give it to Snell. The Cowboys crash in on him for no gain. It's Randy Gregory. Cowboy football. Watch the condensed front. See all those D linemen in there? And then you see Gallimore doing a great job getting through. And he didn't get there, right, Jim? No, he's he was about a half yard short. I mean, outstanding job coming down the line. You see 96 just busting through Gallimore having an outstanding game. And look at Coach McCarthy. He says something. Has to love what he's seeing out of his defense. Hasn't had a whole lot to celebrate this season with stops like that. Pollard is the running back for Dallas. for a first down at the 50. And he won that contest. Second and seven. Sliding. Throwing. Touchdown, Dallas! C.D. Lamb. quarterback rule.
roll right here. As he's rolling right, you're going to see C.D. Lamb's just going to go ahead and take an out and up on the sideline. He goes right here and then goes up and gets around T.J. Watt. And Watt's like, I cover him. He's going to the sideline. That's my responsibility. But no one's there to help out. Three and outs. Barry, 57-yard punt the last time. This one, another good one. Caught over the shoulder back of the six by Wilson. Throws it back across the field where it's then juggled for a moment. And now the Cowboys are making a special teams play. Hurtling past and all the way down to about the 10-yard line. It's good one. Well, that flag is at the end of the play, though. So it, I don't think it's going all the way back, is it, Jim? The kick, illegal block in the back. Receiving team number 23. 10-yard penalty. First down. It's called on Darian Thompson. How about Wilson throwing it across the field? We mentioned Wilson had thrown a touchdown earlier this season in a game against Cleveland. It took C.J. Goodwin a second to get this one down, but then he goes, and the field is cleared. And there's the push. Well, you'll see the penalty right there. Not there. Maybe it was there, actually. I thought it was. No, that's not the one, because that's there. <laughs> you <laughs> probably should have scored it. By the way, I think Cedric Wilson threw that pass, right? Extra point is wide of the mark. Power will try to get it, and he wins. To the 22. On third and four, they bring it. They hit Roethlisberger as he released it. it was nearly intercepted. A third and five. They're going to run for it. They're going to get it. Pollard. Down to about the 43. And They're going to run it again. Third and long. And that last effort may have done it. Let's see now. And now they come back inside. Oh, this the is orange close. strike. This is close. Yep. Well, remember, Boswell missed a PAT earlier in this game. But he made a 59-yard field goal right before the half. This to make it three. Oh, it's blocked. That's the second time Crawford, Tyrell Crawford, 98, got in there. He missed that 60-yarder. Look at Crawford bust through. Get a hand on it. So to me, you kick that little pooch kick right in the corner. But you don't want to kick it too far. <laughs> That's perfect. Look at this run back. Down the sideline. That is Dowdle. The rookie from South Carolina, Rico Donald. Probably not, but watch the cut there. And as soon as he had that hole, he just took off, showing some wheels. How about that, you get penalized 15 yards. To... Congratulations to the to the family and to baby TJ. Let's see what happens here from the 25. That's good for. to get there. What a play by Gregory. Well, you know why they did that. Crawford has jumped over the pile three times, blocked right. one, and the other two, I mean, should have been blocked. That was really smart by Pittsburgh not to put that back on the field and give them an opportunity. I know that they wanted that for down. Great job by Gregory, but very smart to remember that and feel like this one's more of a dream. This drive. Yes. Not that drive. You were a little early. Yes. away from the heat fires it sideline oh what a catch at the 50 they'll have a chance for a heave or two that is lamb who pulls it in Jim, this is already in oh and he does a great job they run right at you feeling shifts to the right side second down at six cousins looking to throw in trouble 
down he goes back at the 30 yard line so the Cowboys able to get pressure and it is the safety Donovan Wilson who comes up with the getting some pressure instead they want to confuse that offensive line you have one guy dropping back and then off the edge Donovan Wilson Whoa, well, close to a, a helmet to helmet there, but they didn't call it. Brings up a third and long for the Minnesota Vikings. Welcome back. The Cowboys win the challenge. It is a fumble as we welcome in Dean Blandino from Los Angeles. Dean, do you agree with the call? I do. It was close. Both offenses were out on the field at one point, but when you watch the initial contact, we had a hit to the head that looks like it was a foul, but that's not reviewable. The key, the ball is loose prior to Cousins. This is the best look. It's his left shoulder that's going to hit the ground, but watch the football come out. Wilson actually has it before Cousins is down. That's out at seven. Dalton from the shotgun. He fires, and it's complete. C.D. Lamb makes the catch inside the 10-yard line. And he and score a first quarter TD for the first time in the last six games. And that's a nice job by the Cowboys offense. They went quickly. You haven't seen this formation before. You get two big tight ends out there. Let Ezekiel Elliott do his thing once he gets the ball. And now it's finally playing complimentary football for Dallas. You get He leads the league in touchdowns. The handoff to Cook, and he will not get there. Nice play, Leighton Vanderish. Nice play. Because it's been all downhill with Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott. Off the fake to Elliott. Wide open to make the catch. Inside the 10 is Michael Gallup. And he takes it all the way down to the Vikings' five yard line. Second and goal. Dalton looking end zone. He throws. Oh! What a catch! C.D. Lamb for a Cowboys touchdown. Kenny, I don't know if fans recognize how hard of a catch that was. Wow, looking over Gets his left hands, shoulder. Gets it down, that's a, good, that's a touchdown. Going to the ground, gathers it in additionally with one hand. A spectacular catch by the rookie out of Oklahoma. Man, that was awesome. Looking like Adam Thielen from the other side, right? C.D. Lamb has to adjust. I don't understand. I, I can't describe how. Tremendous play. Dalton connecting with Lamb. Cowboys back on top. Second down and eight. Cousins throws over the middle. Oh, he's hit. Lost the football. The question is, will it be ruled a completion? Did he have the ball for a long enough period of time? On the return and still going is Jalen Smith. Well, they're picking up the tempo. They've been calling a great game as well. Been looking at Amari Cooper. They're now in field goal range. After 15 seconds remaining. Oh, they have him. Dalton throws Cooper wide open. And Cooper will be marked down at the one. And now the Cowboys will use their final timeout. Harrison Smith, they're both going to go and jump Amari Cooper, and you have Dalton Schultz. Amari Cooper is going to go up the field. Harrison Smith guessed wrong. He picked the wrong guy to go. They thought that it was going to be a quick out. Carolina won today. Resounding victory. Shut out the Lions. Elliott, first down and more across midfield to the Vikings. 48, a gain of 15. That's now he's talking about it with two. <laughs> that used to be the magic number. We, there's clearly a difference. They're not going to get the 10. So he's got to find a way to talk to him now. <laughs> There's Pollard. And oh. he's still going. Inside the 10. Pollard to the end zone. Touchdown. 42 yards. As the Cowboys regain the lead. Yeah, and the Cowboys ran it down their throat. The Vikings defense ran it down their throat. And Chris Jones, he just made the worst business decision I've seen. Dropping deciding not to make the tackle Tony Pollard being very patient no Brown gets a block and this is what bothers me as you keep going 
Chris Jones right there decides, ah, I don't want to tackle. Well, who do you think is going to tackle him? If you don't going to tackle him, who do you think is going to? It's by any cowboy. And now they will go for two, looking to make it a three-point game. Elliott flips it back to C.D. Lamb, who nice walks play. it in. And Dallas now leads by three. Nice play and nice response, Dallas. They go for two and are successful following this 42-yard run for a score by the second year back out of Memphis, Tony Pollard, and then Lamb for two. It's been working so far. Three receivers set from the 49-yard line. Up the middle, it's Elliott, first down and more. Ezekiel Elliott, Cooper, slot to the left. Down here in the slot, Amari Cooper. Fourth down and six. There he goes. As Dalton throws, and it's complete for a first down. And Jonathan, as you called, it is Cooper. At the end of this game. Suck it down at five. Dalton fakes the handoff to Elliott. Catch is made for a first down by the tight end, Dalton Schultz. Dallas trailing by four. Uh -oh, Lamb went in motion. Dalton looking at Tony throws. Touchdown! Wide open is the tight end, Dalton Schultz. The Cowboys take the lead. They busted the coverage, and that's a great play call. Mike McCarthy, Kellen Moore, great play call because a man free. What happened was Cameron Dancer tried to communicate with Harrison Smith when CeeDee Lamb went in motion, and you see them trying to communicate. They forget about Dalton Schultz. That was Harrison Smith's man, Dalton Schultz was Harrison Smith's man who Cameron Dantzler was supposed to cover. They don't complete it, that's good as ball game. It comes down to this. Vikings need a first down, they must get to the 35. Cousins looking, under pressure, fires downfield. There is a flag. Uh -oh. Or is it a shoe? It's Thielen's shoe. <laughs> Mike thought it was a flag. Nope, no flags. That's just stealing shoe and Vikings saw the yellow on the field. <laughs> They're no all flag. You, you can tell how reluctant the defense is to go out there. They're they're hoping that there is a flag somewhere. There's no flag. Back in 2014, held up pretty well. On third down, Smith is sacked. Gregory was back there, was not alone, a loss of seven, and this day will start with a three and out for Washington. Third down and 12, Dalton going to run, long way to go, and he dives, they're going to mark him at the 45, one official came in, was going to mark him short, and he's overruled by the other, the Connor Williams going into his knee. So they'll look at him. First down for Dallas. Dalton throws and the pass is caught. That's Amari Cooper. He gets it. Bounces off some tacklers. Hope for a block from Dalton. That is just amazing. That's the best yard and a half run I've seen in a while. Uh, but that, that run, that was... That was all Tony Pollard there. That was good. Kind of Zeke-esque. Dalton throws down the sideline. He's got Cooper. Touchdown, Dallas. But then it's just a flat foot race with Amari Cooper. Ronald Darby, he just, he's in man cover. Locked up in Cooper. You can see it. Smith gets hit, gets sacked. At the bottom of it is Gregory. He's got his second of the game. And a loss of nine. Let's go back to that fourth down call and in a timeout after that effort to get off the field. It was Lawrence rolling. gets through. There are no flags, and Ron Rivera's living. Rivera thought that Demarcus Lawrence came through before the snap. And he does move just before the ball is snapped, but to me, he does not get into the neutral zone until the snap starts. So, I actually, as funny as it did appear, and it made it seem like in real time he might have been, I don't think he was. 
Elliott coming off the fumble. Gets it here. Has some room. Covers up. Flag is down. Something to consider. Play action pass is caught. Gallup, nice pickup on first and 20. Losing Robinson. One on one up top with Logan Thomas. Here is a pick. Jalen Smith back the other way. One man to beat McKissick. And now brought down by McLaren from behind. First and goal Dallas on a pick by Jalen Smith. Smith's all over the place that led to the interception. Yeah, Jalen Smith was initially showing that he was coming on the blitz and then he's pulling out and Alex Smith just hung in there just a little too long. McLaurin actually was was open on the route and he doesn't get the ball and then he just runs down. He goes DK Metcalf on him. Yeah. I We're down at five. Jackson passes, tipped and picked, intercepted by the Dallas Cowboys. Then the ball is returned by Darian Thompson for a nice return to set up Dallas. Marquise Brown, and let's see, it was off the right hand of Brown and into the waiting arms of Darian Thompson. That's why this game is so important to Dallas as much as it is to the Ravens. Pollard on the return from the five has a gap and is still rolling into Ravens territory as he takes it down inside the 30 and there are no flags as Pollard returns it for 67 yards. Well, this is an area, this unit, the special teams, it, 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 they have to win this side of it. And that's a great start. The defense gets run game and that's why they're they're so good off the edge. Dalton end zone pass is caught. Flag on the play. Touchdown, Gallup. He might get Gallup for this. I'm not sure. It looked like he might have pushed. We'll get a look at it, but that's right where the they're, flag came out. Well, they're indicating it's against Baltimore. There's Gallup at the top of your screen. He, he, he does a great job of Defense selling it there. The penalty is declined. Yeah, Result a good of the ball. play is a touchdown. It's a good call. Yeah, from where I was, Joe, it looked. Sometimes you see that even when he doesn't have to do it, and a lot of times that's what leads to some of these errant throws that he has. Phillip Rivers is watching this game going, what's the big deal about that? 31-yard <laughs> try by Tucker. This guy's pretty good. And movement. 31 becomes 36. If there's such a thing as automatic from this distance. It's Justin Tucker, that's for sure. False start. Offense number 77. Five yard penalty. Still fourth down. They get Bozeman. Yeah, I would say uh, Justin Tucker since 2016 has made 70 straight inside 40 yards. Nice when you've got a kicker like that you can depend on and we'll see. We'll see what we'll see if he keeps that streak alive here. Nah, I'm, I'm just gonna say he is. No announcers jinx. Come on. And he yanked it. No good. <laughs> Who gets blamed for that? Me, you, the center, the holder, the kicker. That snaps a streak of 70 straight inside 40. Wow. Touchdowns. Passes to Schultz, makes a nice catch, and now spins and stays on his feet and inbounds out near the 15. Marlon Humphrey back in there for the Ravens. That's a good sign for them. They need him. Here's a screen for Elliott. Looking for blocking. Spins down inside the five. And they've run it with Elliott three straight times. 
Yeah. And no points to show for it. Dalton keeps. And back in the end zone. What a catch for the touchdown by Cooper. Throw was high, and Amari Cooper somehow made the grab and got both feet down for the score to save that opportunity for Dallas. That's a great job by Amari Cooper. Yeah, that's a ball that you know didn't have to put it up high. A lot of times, though, as a quarterback, you, you know you just you guard against anything that might be in the area. We're down in 19. Not sure the Cowboys were set. Pass is caught by Gallup for the first down. Clock continues to run. Right side at right guard. And Bernard trying to find some running room. That ball is oh, out. The ball popped out at the 32 yard line. Dallas says they have it as Demarcus Lawrence stripped it out. No one stacked the pile, but that ball came out before Bernard got to the ground. Well, it, the, the hit from behind was what caused the ball to come out. And you see Gio Bernard right here fighting for extra yards. And right here, the pursuit play by Demarcus Lawrence to strip it out of there. Outstanding job of attacking the football. And it is going to the Cowboys. And it is a rarity indeed. We talked about a unique start to the game. How about this? The first fumble on a run for Giovanni Bernard in 830 attempts. And Alex Erickson to the top of the screen. <laughs> And on second down, it's Williams up the middle, short of the first. The ball is out. It's scooped up by the Cowboys. On the run up the field, Alden Smith motoring to the other end. And Alden Smith will take it in for a Dallas touchdown. Second Bengals fumble, and this one costs them six. So a guy that felt responsible didn't play his best game, number 55, Leighton Vendor. She's going to come in late. Look at him split that double team. Oh, no, that ball popped out sooner. Looks like he ran right into the yeah. back of his left tackle, Adenogy. And I love the fact that Smith had the trust in his athletic ability to scoop and score as opposed to just falling on it. But Demarcus Lawrence, they're on a little bit of a slant right there. The offensive line was confused. For Alden Smith and Bengal miscues have given the Cowboys the opportunity to go up 10 nothing right into the back of his left tackle ball out Cowboys score fourth down and one <laughs> Erickson in motion Erickson will get the carry turn it on the speed to the edge fumbles the football ball popping out at the 14 yard line still loose out there Cowboys say they have it is it the third Bengals fumble recovered by Dallas today it is Darian Thompson jarred it out the former New York Giant Darian Thompson number 23 filling from the safety position getting that head across the bow closing the gate in front of the ball targets the football and what else can you say? Self-destruction. They move the ball. The Bengals have the ability to move the ball. They've had 29 drives of 10 plays or more. This Third and 14, quick toss. Amari Cooper had a step. Cooper's got a first down and much more. Answering your question, Chris, can the Bengals' defense finish? They cannot. Amari Dalton looking for the end zone. Low throw, plucked off the turf by Amari. Touchdown. You they, can hear the Dallas fans here in Cincinnati yeah. with the coop. Just the timing of Andy Dalton hitting that back foot. And I love the ball placement right here. Low and away. Well, number one, it's away from the safety. Number two, it protects your wide receiver by putting that ball down, giving him a chance to take of those possessions earned by the fumble. And the kickoff, one yard deep and out comes Pollard. Pollard, Higgin and Zagging his way up the field, and Pollard with running room. Pollard across midfield and into Bengals territory, finally pulled down at the 43 yard line by Jesse Bates. Lady, gang, gang. Well, thanks. First down and 10. Lady, 
And this is C.D. Lamb. Nice move in the backfield to get free. And Lamb, with some running room after that move, gets another first down. Five yards rushing in six of the Cowboys' 12 games this year. Dalton had Zeke open instead. Throws it to traffic, and Dalton Schultz goes up to get it. And it's first down and goal. I thought he was going for Elliott. I'm sure he's yeah. wide open on the edge. And but when you're in rhythm and you know you can trust your protection, you're going to take a, a shot and make the tougher throw. And, of course, Schultz is a big target and does an outstanding job, like most Stanford tight ends, going up and making a good hands catch at that safety position. One of the areas Lou had rumor told us a couple weeks ago that tackling was just getting better and better. The Bengals defensive coordinator liked what he saw from his young safety as Pollard turns the corner. And Pollard with a first down across the 35, Jermaine Pratt. I don't. I think T is a tough kid. Third and six out of the backfield. Excellent tackle by Robinson. What a from the 10 yard line, Cowboys are up 20 to 7. Ezekiel Elliott has a hole. And Elliott to the 30 yard line. And Zeke out of bounds at the 35. An outstanding job by the five guys working as one. Excellent by 66, 52, 73. All of them creating a hole. And Zeke isn't touched until he gets to the sidelines. Nice cut. And that's exciting to see Zeke with that little burst. Flag down. Dalton hit as he throws, and that ball incomplete. Second and seven. We got him on a double move. And Dalton finds C.D. Lamb. And Lamb inside the 30 and down at the 29-yard line with a flag down. Look, Andy's smiling because he knows that he had Amari Cooper wide open for six points. It just didn't stay on him. It was a great route. Holding defense, number 30. That penalty is declined. Result of the play, first out. And I don't want to take away from the great throw and great catch, but watch this. Watch a little sluggo, slant, and go. And I think Amari was saying, mm. Right there, he oh. just would have stayed on him just a little bit longer. And, and, and that's when you're winning, you can have fun like that. You missed the touch. Oh, my bad, babe. Ryan Finley <laughs> in, and on the first snap, Ryan Finley takes. He's sacked by Tyrone Crawford. First sack of the year for Tyrone Crawford. Zach Taylor went with Brandon Allen as the starter, but now Allen is hurt and Finley in trouble. He leads the first pressure and not the second. Tyrone Crawford, wow. no sacks in 12 <laughs> games, two on this possession. Getting it done. Yeah, Cowboy win today. And if it stays that way, it awards the field's first two off the board, huh? Dalton to the edge, Pollard to the end zone. That's a touchdown. Going for it on fourth and one. And Let's the Cowboys go. salt it away as Andy Dalton tosses the seven-yard touchdown to Tony Pollard. Much to the light of Jordan Dalton. Andy with a second touchdown pass to cap his return to Cincinnati with a Cowboy win. Yeah, and what a way for Andy Dalton to come back, exactly. And nothing needs to be said. And like I talked about, Andy says all the right things and does all the right things. I guarantee you this game means something more to Andy Dalton. And obviously it means more. To Mrs. Dalton giving her a little wave out of college a couple years ago from Northwestern and took a few years to get onto a roster but making the most of his opportunity. James from the 14 hang of five seconds. Oh, and he fumbled the ball and it's loose at about the 22 yard line. Cowboys think they've got it as they unravel the bodies. The roof is open. It is San Francisco's. No, it's Dallas's ball. We had one referee pointing one way, another official pointing the other way. Pollard lunging a touchdown, he got in. The nose of the ball crosses. One yard touchdown run, and the Cowboys cash in on the fumble by San Francisco on the punt return. It's third down and eight. They come off the edge. Mullen's got the ball. Ball is loose. Down it goes. The Cowboys have gotten it again. Another turnover by San Francisco. Of course, they'll review it. Cowboys once again on third down with the pressure. 
His arm is hit as it's going backward, but it does start to come forward with the ball. It's whether or not the ball comes loose. And that is the number one problem with him as they continue to review. I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, they're having a hard time to try to figure out where his arm was also. The, the official's still holding up play, determining if they're going to take some extra time to go look at it. Pollard in. <laughs> it's first and goal. Fake pitch to the end zone. Touchdown, Michael Gallup. Three-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys have scored 13 points on two San Francisco turnovers so far. Gallup is going to be lined up to the right, and it's the play-action pass. Here's Gallup. What he's going to do is he's just working to the back of the end zone. Watch the play fake by Andy Dalton to try and bring up the linebackers. Quick flash fake gets the linebackers to bite up and lays it to the back line for the touchdown to Gallup. Two San Francisco turnovers. Dalton throwing the touchdown pass. His 10th as a Cowboy. What a defensive play right there, turned in by Neville Gallimore, the rookie out of Oklahoma. Well, that's just going right in between to the inside of McGlinty and school. And, and first and hey, 10, hey, hey. Lamb on the move. It's Pollard outside, Schultz with a block, and it's a good one. And there he goes, down the sideline. Touch back to the 25, it's a first and 10. Ayuk is in motion, look out from behind. Here he comes, boy, they were sending everybody, but getting through, Jordan Lewis, first sack of the season, second sack by the Cowboys. Well, Lewis is just going to come off the edge, and he's unblocked. Nobody picking him up, Mullins comes off the fake from Mostert, doesn't realize the blitz is coming, has no time. They stack the near side, Wilson in the backfield, use check in motion. Nick Mullins. He throws to Eustek, knocked down. What a terrific defensive play. It's Mostert. And hit at the two. Boy, there was some big time hitting in there, and it looked like Demarcus Lawrence was the first to club him at about the two. Now, what do you do? Fourth and goal. Well, I think you got to get the points, but Alden Smith and Demarcus Lawrence, they put them on the same side, and that, and that causes a problem, especially if you're trying to run to that side of the field. Watch as Smith gets to the outside. Then he, that's where the ball's supposed to go. Niners. They go outside. Ayuk. Oh, what a great read. Another terrific tackle made by Jordan Lewis. He's had a pass defense. That's a loss of three. Lewis has been all over the place today. Surprised by the fact that the Cowboys aren't taking a timeout didn't take that time out as soon as that that player hit the ground how they jump free play dalton nice catch by lamb oh what a grab has the first down near the 41 player is down for san francisco it's a Andy Dalton out of TCU, third and six. Pressured on the move and downfield. He's got Lamb. Oh, what a catch. What a throw. What a play. To the 11 of San Francisco. Dalton does it again. 46-yard completion to the sensational rookie, C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb's going to be lined up to the left. He's the first receiver. You'll see him working across the field as Dalton gets flushed to the right. That's really the only receiver that's in his vision. Everyone else has worked to the opposite side of the field. Excellent throw by Dalton. First and ten. Dalton Schultz broke a tackle with Sherman. He's going to carry guys on his back. He's in for the touchdown. The punt, and they were calling a block on that one. Lamb at the 23. Sidestepping, cutting, juking, driving, spinning to the 41. Punt. Nice wander. And Trent Taylor lets it bounce him back. Will it be saved? Oh, batted down beautifully on the play. That was some kind of bat there by C.J. Goodwin. McKinnon is in now. Mullins. And intercepted and picked off on the play by Wilson. Donovan Wilson.
Jackson picks off Mullins. And look where the Cowboys will take over. Deep in San Francisco territory. His first interception of the season. Mullins had done such a good job of avoiding the interception. The key mistake on the day. This time he just stares down Reed. Watch as he comes back. He gets it and he initially looks left. Now watch, he's looking this direction the entire time. His head is trying to locate how he's gonna get the ball. To, so it's an easy read for the safety because he sees the outbreaking route. He's keeping his eyes to the inside. He knows there's a corner route coming from Reed. He's got his eyes on the quarterback. Mullen stared him down. Good. Fake to Wilson. There's an idea. Intercepted on the play by Anthony Brown. Another pick, the second by Mullins. Big time defensive play by the Dallas D. And then they try and hit the slant in the middle. Here he is on the backside. The play fake, they're trying to get Ayuk on the front side. But all he has to do is hang tight back there. He just has to hang there waiting for it. And watch as he waits to get to that second window. Then Brown jumps in and makes the interception. Two games out of first place in the East. Second down four. It's Tony Pollard with a block by Brown, and there it goes, off to the races, looking at it, chased by Witherspoon into the end zone, it's a touchdown! Oh, what a run, 40-yard touchdown sprint by Tony Pollard! Taking full advantage of it, as I said, great individual effort, watch as he gets to the outside, he gets wrapped up, three defenders, he spins out of it, and then the acceleration to take it to the house. Straight, gold again. And here we go. One side kick, nice catch right there, it's Lamb, he's off to the races, and this baby is over. And Dallas gets that play with Lamb returning it all the way for a touchdown. And the Cowboys are going to win their second consecutive game, and it's the first winning streak for first-year coach Mike McCarthy as a Cowboy head coach, and the first time they've won back-to-back -back games going back to the middle of last season. Well, that ball bounces perfectly into Lamb's hands, and 49ers have nobody around him. He, he, I think he was going to go down. You see how he first hesitated? Watch how he catches it. He hesitates. He's like, oh, wait, I can go. That is the Cowboys' first kickoff return touchdown since 2008. Eagles averaging seven yards per carry on this drive. On first and goal, it is Sanders. There we go. Gains a couple. Sean Lee coming up to make the tackle along with Anthony Brown. Lee. Dalton's eighth start as a Cowboy. Fires downfield on first down. The catch is made by Amari Cooper in Eagles territory. 35-yard connection. What a way to start. Andy Dalton coming back, and Amari Cooper runs just an over route and literally is just running away from Marcus Epps to safety. Ezekiel Elliott. Tenth play of the drive coming up for Dallas. Second down and three. As Dalton fires, it's Gallup for a first down and a Cowboys touchdown. As he goes into this zone, this, this is going to be the wide open area in the zone because why? Everyone is now packing outside looking for Tony Pollard and Michael Gallup gets right back inside, splits the safety and the linebacker, missed tackles. Second down and six, it's Dalton who will pick up a first down, sliding out to the 36-yard line. Okay, Andy Dalton showing he's still got some wheels. It didn't look as good as Jalen Hurst, just to be honest. Sorry, Cowboys fans, but hey, it's, it's effective, right? It gets the first down, and you see Dalton Schultz coming around, leading the way, gets a nice block on Singleton. And that's enough to keep the defense on. You see him smiling because he knows, yeah, we're going to call that maybe one more time. After that, kill, I'm kill. done. Kill, 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 kill. Run four. Run four. Run four. Run four. Run four. From the 36 on first down, quick release. It's Gallup 
And Gallup has a first down and more. He's inside the 30. And he will be knocked out of bounds inside the Eagles' 10-yard line. So Michael Gallup, who scored the Cowboys' touchdown earlier this quarter, on the catch and run, gains 55 yards. Who are they attacking, Kenny? Michael Jaquette. And boy, that's a great play by Michael Gallup. Made one guy miss. A combined nine wins, still alive. For the division title, week 16, as Sanders is hit for a loss. Randy Gregory, and without Fletcher Cox, ruled out with the stinger. Passes caught for a first down by Dalton Schultz. Tenth play of the drive for the Cowboys. Out of timeouts. As Dalton moves to his left. And now he throws at the seven-yard line. Gallup able to stay in bounds. Both feet in, made the catch. Look at the body control of Michael Gallup. Look at that, man. That's, oof. You, you can't get any better than that. What a first half for Gallup. First to go from the seven to the end zone. Looking for Gallup. Michael Gallup. Able to pull it in for his second touchdown today. We know who's lined up on Michael Gallup. It's to quit. We know he's a liability. But you still got to admire that connection with Andy Dalton and Michael Gallup. Throws it right on time, over the top. Only four incompletions for Dalton today. 17 of 21. And he finds his man, C.D. Lamb. For a Cowboys touchdown. 52 yards from Dalton to Lamb. Matt, they baited the secondary. All first half, they baited the secondary by going and running these little underneath routes, and then all of a sudden, C.D. Lamb goes up and then shoots right up, the, uh, right up the seam. It's similar to when a running back runs a wheel route, but instead it was C.D. Lamb that did that, and wow. Usually you'll see C.D. Lamb, he'll just end up squatting right here and sitting down in the zone. Instead, he's gonna go up and through the zone as Nickel Roby Coleman thought he was going to squat. Instead of squatting, he goes right up through him for the easy touchdown. Again, think of a wheel route. Eagles must get to the 35. Hurts under pressure. Throws it away as he took a hit from Jalen Smith. Last two weeks. Counters made by Amari Cooper, who broke free. Inside the 20. Stays in bounds. And is wrestled out at the Eagles' eight-yard line. Another huge pass play for the Dallas Cowboys. Dalton to Cooper for 70 yards. Oh, they said Michael Gallup had him for the whole first half. We're going to pass him on over to Amari Cooper. Let Amari Cooper get some yards and get some yak. He hasn't gotten involved in this game, so. Eagles trailing by 13. From the Cowboys, 32 off the fake to Sanders. Hurts hit. Ball comes loose. And the Eagles recover. Randy Gregory with the hit. Almost, almost became that game-changing play. Randy Gregory coming around the corner. And he's been putting some good pressure lately on the, on the front four and on Jalen Hurts. And wow, nice move. Killed the Eagles, I think. Fourth down at 15. As Hurts swings it out. Not enough. Hurts tackled. Doug Peterson, do you go for just a you know five or six yard gain? No, you're gonna go for it on fourth down or go for the first. Let's see what he has up his sleeve. Third down at 12. Hurts under pressure. He sets, oh. he throws. It is picked off. Intercepted by Anthony Brown. Second pick of the season for Brown. Cowboys.
take over, leading by 13. 43 yard penalty. Hurts steps up. Inside the 15. Ball came loose. The question is, was he ruled down? Cowboys have recovered. None of, his none of Jalen Smith's teammates want to go over there just yet. They're trying to make sure that this was a fumble. Randy Gregory gets his hand right on the football. Let's see. It looks like the knee's down yeah, before knee's it came down out, right? Before he lost control. But Randy Gregory, that was, you know, really heads up play by him. Looks like the right knee hits first before the ball came out. Yes. And then the left knee may have hit before the ball movement as well. Yeah. As we welcome in Dean Blandino, I know you're look looking at it at a, a little smaller screen, but yeah. what do you see? Yeah, I like you guys. I see the right knee down. Looks like Hertz still has control of the football. To me, he's down by contact, and uh, and this should go back to the Eagles here. After review, the ruling on the field stands. First down, Dallas. Wow. Wow. Now, it was ruled a turnover on the field, so there had to be conclusive evidence in order to overturn, but I agree with Dean. It certainly appeared as if the right knee hit down before the ball movement. I, I would agree. It looked like the right knee was down before he started losing possession. Then the left knee comes down, and the ball is bobbling a little bit. But, hey, it is what it is. That's the call. Two turnovers in the second half for Philadelphia, and if they lose the game, they can look back on that. And the Dallas defense, they should be so happy with themselves, the way that they played, going up against a really good offense and a hot Jalen Hurts. So the Cowboys take over from their 13-yard line. It's Elliott. Elliott stays on his feet and is finally brought down at the 44-yard line. Gain of 31 yards for Ezekiel Elliott. And his trademark feed me after making the big run, the patience that he has. And he is running hard, man. That is just good, tough football. Cards of offense as Dalton gets it into the hands of C.D. Lamb. Oh. And he takes it in for another Cowboys touchdown. And an exclamation point. Here in week 16. It's either breaking the back or icing on the cake for this game. And C.D. Lamb, you know, he did this at Oklahoma as well. Look at the blocking. Dalton Schultz, Noah Brown, those guys, they were getting after it. And they could not get it done today. Third down and two. As Hurts is picked off. The third turnover. Here in the fourth quarter, it's Trayvon Diggs. His third interception of the season. All three have come against the Eagles. He had two in the prior game. Trayvon Diggs reading the eyes of Jalen Hurts. And again, uh, I talk about Jalen Hurts not forcing the issue. You're down 20 points. He obviously tried to force it into a tight window, right? Boy, did they come to play. They got hits on the quarterback, Randy Gregory, right there. They took the ball away, leading the past two weeks of the season, leading the NFL in takeaways. Kind of makes you wonder, you're a Cowboys fan, where was this defense before? Right. right. And then Trayvon Diggs capping it off with the interception. Uh, they didn't look too good. Here, that doesn't look good either. Graham Gannell misses the extra point. He comes across, I don't know the guy, but he comes across as one of those guys I would have enjoyed playing for. He likes to mix it up. Here's a ball out and recovered by Dallas, and that's been a big part of their three-game win streak. In and out of the hands of Wayne Gallman and recovered by Chidobi Awuzie. So for the last three-plus games, and yeah, Gallman never had it. Yeah, he never, he closed down before Jones really was able to put the ball into his pocket. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Here you are, week 17, playing 57 yard try. Good snap, good hold. The kick is good.
And Zerline, a three for three first half, including that 57 yarder. It's an 11 point ball game. Have not allowed a sack by the Dallas defense yet. They hand to Goldman. Good work by the Dallas defensive line and the rookie Neville Gallimore. Third round pick from Oklahoma stands up Wayne Goldman. And I like him, Neville Gallimore. He, you know, they dropped Don Terry Poe, who they brought in. He was one of the key acquisitions this offseason. And they released him earlier in the year. And Gallimore's gotten more playing time. Justin Hamilton, who is not suited up today. You know, those two young players, they've, they've done a nice job, been very active inside here the last few weeks for them. Jones throws, passes, tipped and picked. Intercepted by Wilson. Donovan Wilson after Ingram could not secure the catch, but a flag is down. Following the interception, holding number 24 of the intercepting team. The 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down, Dallas. So it took place after the pick and this is just a drop at least it what it looked like by Ingram as it goes through his hands off his helmet and into the arms of Donovan Wilson. Wow that's uh, that's a really good throw by Daniel Jones. Evan Ingram has had problems with this really throughout his career. That ball's right on the money. Couldn't ask for it to be any better. Donovan Wilson right there to get the deflection and the interception. Dalton out to his right has the rookie Lamb who makes a spinning catch got his feet down in bounds and is out at the Giants 30 for 21. What a year he has had coming in as a rookie no offseason very little training camp the adjustment that he able to hang on there second and six quick throw Cooper he reaches for the touchdown. Cowboys have turned their two takeaways now into nine maybe ten points with the extra point coming as Cooper limps away after his sixth touchdown catch of the year. Great work by this Cowboys offense and Andy Dalton he turns this ball loose even before Cooper gets his head around the ball's coming out and right on him and it's in stride so if that ball's behind you know, he's not able to then get to the pylon but perfect throw gets it to him early enough. Good job of. Uh, it looks like he might. Looks like he's short. Yeah. Well, by the time the foot's out of bounds, watch his right foot here. He is. It's going to be first and goal. Pulling on the field of a touchdown is under review. Here's Elliott. He will get it. Touchdown, Dallas. As Elliott fought for it and has his sixth of the year. Slides through and he's going to have enough for a first down. Slides near the 10. And up front. Second and 11. Jones steps into it. Down the sideline. Broken up. And good coverage by the rookie Diggs. He was slide, stride for stride with Darius Slayton. It's third down. Well Trayvon Diggs I, I like this guy and he's had a you know somewhat of an up and down year. I mean overall I think you'd look at this rookie season. He missed some time and you'd say that it, it, it was a good a good year. He'd been beat early in the season but I think when you look at him all his attributes I mean he has the makings of a really exceptional corner and the most important part of all that at least in my opinion is he shows to have a lot of confidence and he's able to forget bad plays come right back. You like the swagger that he plays with, and he played that one beautifully. Third down and 11. Jones sacked by Lawrence. Now the Dallas defense is starting to make plays, and a loss of nine on the first sack of the day by the Cowboys. They put Alden Smith and Demarcus Lawrence on the same side, and they run this twist. And so Alden Smith, Smith takes two guys, and it frees that lane then for Demarcus Lawrence. It looked like Alvin Smith might have gotten away with a with a defensive hold because he took the guard with him. 
Start at their 32, down by one. Pass caught. Schultz still rumbling out near the 48 49 yard line. Now 20 to 19. Blue 80. We set. Sterling Shepard over 100 yards for the first time this season, but a big sack by Donovan Wilson. A loss of nine. Yeah, and Wilson didn't fool anybody, but yet Caden Smith, the tight end, I don't, I don't know where he's going. He just gives Wilson just a straight shot. I mean, watch him right here, number 82. And, you know, here comes Wilson, and it's just a total bust. Now, they're not going to try to quarterback sneak this one. Dalton keeps and he's got it, and then some. They fake it to Elliott, and Dalton at the far side of the field for 11 yards. Here are these two guys, Logan Ryan, neither one accounts for Andy Dalton. 